Shabbos is a full card here, live in Iraq, from Montreal, Quebec. In front of me today, I have 22 rando packs to attack, stack after stack, a lot to unpack. And I will be breaking this bad boy too uh, in the foreseeable future very soon. I've been a bit under the weather, so I thought I'd do the rando packs instead today because this is too momentous. I've been waiting for this one for way too long. Uh, so let's do half of these rando uh, stacks. We can just check out the packs. Uh, basically a nice peppering of goodies from various eras. I think there's 11 in here, 12 because it's a dual hanger pack or whatever. And then we have these here, uh, we'll pick chess, some rookie updates, uh, synergy. So these as well. I think I'll do this stack today and I'll do this stack tomorrow, the day after, and then I will do the SPX, uh, assuming those breaks are in order. Uh, no odds, I'm not gonna do the odds, I'll just, you know, just open them up for a change once in a while, uh, you know. So these are 2021 MVP, so uh, rock bottom basement attire. And let's see who we have. We have Nuge, we have a Nuge. And oh, we have an insert, which is kind of cool. So, uh, yep, 2020, uh, 2021, yep, Zach Parise. And as we know, very basic stuff with MVP. Darcy Kemper, now in Colorado, there's the Nuge. And there's Nate, I believe Nate should be back in the lineup. And what on earth is this? This is a Prospects MVP. Wow, cool looking card, man. This is actually really cool. So it's Gabe Lardy. Uh, how come I'm not familiar with these Prospect MVP cards? This is a bit different. It's kind of gold scrippy. Uh, pretty nice, man, pretty nice. Gabe Velarde insert. So yeah, so this is one of the third star anniversary cards, okay. Uh, escape my memory. Um, didn't open up too much of MVP from 2020, 2021. Do remember the first, second, third star in hindsight. Uh, continuing on guys. So this would happen to be 2021 OPG base. Uh, Jake Gensel, Dougie Hamilton, man, everybody's gonna be in the wrong jersey, Miles Wood, uh, Cole Volchuk, and here is our insert, and of course it's a hab, uh, and it's Marky Rookie, so that Marky Rookie beat Jake Evans. How nice is that to hit the Jake Evans rookie card, Marky Rookie? That is beautiful. So this would be, um, yeah, base rookie, nice. And Provorov, and the checklist. So, Pretty cool that the high series card above 500 would happen to be our man, Jake Evans. And here we go, guys. So this stuff would happen to be the rookie update from 2001, 2002. Uh, I do have cards from that set. And look how cool these base ice acetates are. And there is Pavel Dimitra. Uh, rest in peace. Died in a plane crash, sadly, tragically. And we do have some goalie mojo. Uh, and this is Martin Biron, the blue-eyed wonder himself. Very nice. And we hit the Afinaganov, uh, Maxine Afinaganov. This is an SPX update card. Bank. Extended series. Oh, wow, we hit, we hit something here. I think we actually hit the Young Gun. Huh, we hit a Young Gun, that's great. Uh, although the young guns in this set are not the best, but anyways. So we have Casey Sezikis. We have Pierre-Luc Dubois, looked better this year. Daniel Sprong. Eric Stahl in the Buffalo uniform. We do have a Walmart, a Zach Whitecloud, and behind the Kira, we do have, and it would be Michael Bunting, nice. Very nice, very, very cool. That is very cool. I mean, I'm kind of surprised that I'd hit that one. I mean, he's a known quantity. He's already lighting it up on Toronto. Uh, he's a left winger, as far as I recall. Out of Scarborough. Out of Scarborough, is he? Uh, so here are the heroes and prospects, guys. Uh, it's gonna be hard to hit something in this, but we'll see. Eric Fair. We have a Ben Walter. We have, uh, it's a pa base pack, I think. Unless something stuck on the back of this. Something stuck on the back of this, I'm kind of confused. Uh, look at this River Rats uh, filler. And we have the Blesky. And yeah, man, 
Who's this? Doug O'Brien. And yeah, Jeff Tambellini. Jeff Tambellini Prospects. Okay. So this Heroes and Prospects is from 2010. It's one of the better years. A lot of inserts in this year. Um, but it's always hard to... I mean, you really have to be lucky to hit the, uh, the autos. So Tangrady, Joe Colburn, Tyler Bozak, Peter Holland, Archambault. There's the Nuge, pretty cool. Pavel Bure, so this is one of the heroes, one of the right at the top of the checklist, number, card number two. Jordan Wheel, and that's it. Uh, champs from 2015-16, I actually did hit the, well, I think we just have a uh, parallel. Now I did get these from Imagineer. Last time I went through the entire stack of like 22 packs and you know what I hit? I hit zero, I hit nothing. So I should be happy with the bunting. Yossi, Miku Koivu, Nyquist, Andrew Ladd. I believe it's one of the gold parallels. There's Geek Carbonos, so that's a pretty cool legend card. And who is our gold? Just a base gold, unfortunately. And Jacob Silverberg, and he's pretty hot out of the gate. Oh, this is one of the, um, the uh, variation backs actually. So it's a champs variation back. I think it's what it's called. I can't remember what they call that, but that's absolutely variation back. So it's a gold and a variation back, I think. Uh, but I did hit the McDavid in the box, in the first box that I opened. I actually had two great autos in the two boxes I opened back in the day. All right, well, let's see what we have here. So this guys would be 2003, I think. Isn't this 2003? Yeah, I think it's Series 2 from 2003, uh, 4, which is actually a pretty weak uh, one. Alexei Yashin, Matt Cullen, uh, Tepo Numenin, and we do have an insert here, fortunately, so that's good. And it's a Rick Nash Highlight Heroes insert. It's just a base insert um, from back in the day. Pretty nifty looking one, though, of Nash. And there's Felix the Cat with Boston, Eminger, and Ronick. All right, I don't think that's a rookie insert of Nash. Nash, of course, was first overall in 2002, right? Because 2003, it would have been uh, Flower. So let's see, what do we have here? Okay, so guys, this would be none other then SP Authentic, I think it's from 2010, unless I'm mistaken. Yeah, this would be the 2010-11 SP. All right, so we do have a Jerome Ginla. Um, these are actually hard to see, but that's Rick DiPietro. Uh, what is that? So we do have uh, Carrie Lettinen, base of Holmstrom. And what is this? Oh, it's just an SP Essentials, unfortunately. So who is the SP Essential? And the SP Essential, wow. And that's Jacob Voracek. Um, so this is just a base insert, guys, or higher up on the checklist, actually. It's not even considered an insert because it's a numbered card. Yeah, hmm, that's pretty, pretty disappointing. I think, you know, I don't remember how much I paid for that, but you gotta figure that base, even though it's a base pack, it probably is a pretty, oh cool, we hit another Young Gun. That's pretty cool. So two packs of these bad boys, and this by the way is 2020-21 Series 1, so that Young Gun could be a big hit, but let's see. Uh, Rasmus Dahlin, Drew Doughty, Noah Hannafin, The Cat, uh, Brady Shea, and who on earth would be going after are Raquel. Do you guys recognize who this one is? I think it's Dylan Cousins. No, it isn't. It isn't Dylan Cousins. It's actually uh, Dylan Coughlin. Dylan Coughlin. Uh, Young Gun? Okay. And we have the beeping sound to catch us red-handed. Green-handed. All right. Oh, we have an orange. Are they orange slices? I'm not entirely sure. So this is a hanger pack, guys. I guess it's a retail hanger pack. So we have the Shane Bowers uh, rookie card. We have the Soderstrom rookie card. I feel like I hit them quite a bit. These feel really thick. Um, Travis Konechny. Johnny Gibson, who's been on fire. Uh, we have that Zigadulin <laughs> rookie card. And who is our orange? Our orange, oh, nice. It's a Ryan McLeod rookie card. 
And these they do call the orange slice, albeit not the die cut version. There are die cuts. I might continue on with the rest of the packs as this has been oh, another orange slice. So are these hanger pack exclusives? I mean, kind of bizarre that we'd hit two orange slices in two packs. Uh, Carter Hart, Mark Shifley, Mitch. Oh good, we have a grand entrance and it's a red parallel. So behind the Gabe Velarde, so we do have the Peyton Krebs orange. Could be exclusives, who knows? And our grand entrance is Brandon Hagel. A Brandon Hagel red. All right. You know what, guys? I'm gonna open up the rest of the packs because that was a bit underwhelming, I'll be honest. 2016-17, yes. And I'm guessing this is a retail pack. Anyways, it's garbage, but uh, I'm fond of these low-end products, so I'm not really complaining, to be honest with you guys. Uh, these are sort of stuck for some reason. Is it just a base pack? God. All right, Tyler Bozak. Oh, no, we have the Hlack Silver Script, Justin Falk, Phil Pula, and Yakupov. And by the way, some of these can be puzzle pieces, but they're not. All right, OPG. This would be 2019. Okay, I, I love OPG, so this should be fun, even if it's a base pack. It can't be a base pack. There's always something in it. Calvin DeHaan, Aaron Ekblad, Brady Shea. Uh, we do have an OPG retro, and it's Teddy Bluger. And we have a points leader of Braden Point, which is kind of apt and poignant. Uh, Johnny Hockey and Lou Larkin. Poor Calgary's been stuffed by Johnny Gibson. Johnny Gibson's still such a great goaltender. He's sort of lost out there, but uh, he's so good. All right, so these would be Heroes and Prospects, I think from 2007, if I re recollect. Uh, there's Petrangelo, uh, Oystrich, a filler and a thriller. We do have the David Krejci, who's kind of gone, I guess, at this point. Bobby Ryan and Dana Terrell. Rookie update from 2002-2003. I mean, what a smatter of pack we got here today, guys. Oh, this is a nice thick pack with goodies, although this is, uh, there is a filler in here. All right, so, yeah, this is the rookie update from 2002. And we have a Daniel Alfredson update. Oh, that's nice. We have a Patrick Roy update a Todd Bertuzzi, and this is a, an Alexei Kovalev. And then what is this? Oh no, a scratch off, a rookie redemption scratch off. That is the worst case scenario. Uh, I can't say this has been a good lot of cards or packs, but this is what happened last time with the Imagine. And I wonder because like, like you know that Metal Universe, we know exactly where the auto is in the box. So how do people working there, how do they avoid like pack searching is my question. Uh, there's Austin Matthews who looked fantastic last night. Of course, Shesterkin was so good. Brad Marchand, uh, Gosian, Raquel, Jordan Wheel, and we do have a portrait. So the portraits would be <laughs> nice. We have the rookie portraits of Brian Pelling. So I've hit two rookie halves, of course. Uh, jury's still out on him. He's effective when he's down low. And I don't know what, he hasn't really been panning out just yet. All right, well, let's see here. Uh, let's see, I don't know what we have. I think we have a base insert. We have the Drew Doughty of blue. We have a red of Anthony Sorelli. He's gonna see some action now that Cooch is out. And look at this nice card, guys. So we have an exceptional uh, talent of Robert Thomas. He's also looked pretty good, I mean, for a third liner or whatever he's playing. 2008, 2009 Black Diamond. So that would be the Stamkos here. And of course I hit a base pack. Oh man, well it depends. We'll see what the diamonds are. Uh, so Oland, so that's a single diamond. We have Mark Strait, a single diamond. Uh, that is a Brule, Gilbert Brule. That's a single diamond. A single diamond of Justin Williams and a single diamond of Patrice Bergeron. Is that possible? Is that all we hit, single diamonds? Ugh, what a disaster this has been. Okay, come on, Alert, do something. Do something, Alert. Just a red insert, unless it's an auto, which would be ridiculous. Sveshnikov, Breadman, 
Stamkos, Anders Lee, uh, Spectra Sodastrum, and I'm guessing this is just a base red, rainbow, whatever it's called. And it's Korshkov, so at least it's a rookie card. Uh, did I hit another Victor Sodastrum? I feel like I hit him all the time. Let's see, so this guys, this here is 2004-2005. Uh, which I believe was the lockout year, was it not? So that, isn't that all right? Yeah, and I don't even know that they have normal uh, young guns. They had like sort of um, retro young guns. All right, Vinny Le Cavalier, George Leop Jordan Leopold. Leopold, Leopold. Let's see if we can get this unglued. Oh, there we go. Oh, well, we have a base insert, and it's the world's best of Danny Heatley. Uh, these are really hard to read. That's Legwand, uh, it's Sakura, Robert Esch. Yeah, this is pretty disastrous, this stuff, guys. I gotta be honest with you. Rob Blake, filler, and a pair of Marc Bouchard, and what's on the back of it, another base. And that would be none other than Alan McCauley. All right, Woo. series two for this year. I mean, at this point, did we hit another young gun? We've hit a young gun in all of our things. So that's the only benefit because you can't pack search a young gun. Um, yeah, I'm calling them out for pack search. I mean, they must pack search. How do they not pack search? All right, so Jack Roslevic, Halak, Fabro, Armia, Arturi Lekinen, Barzell. Philip Heedle has a bigger role now that we have some injuries or some COVID issues. And this one is Nick Mikola, Nick Mikola, a um, young gun. I kind of feel like this one has to have a hit by definition. Uh, of course I hit Carrie Price when I opened this stuff up back in the day. So let's see who are, it's probably just plain jersey, but we'll see. Uh, these are so mirror ball -y. So these would have to be 2011-12 Elite. All right. All right, 2012, 2011-12 Elite, let's do it. Lucic, Franzen, Shea Weber, there's definitely something here. Uh, Marion Hosa, and I think this is the back of the card because I can feel the jersey on the other side. So behind the Matt Cullen, let's see who this is. Ooh, it's an Euler. Uh, could it be? Uh, <laughs> it's a Nuge. That's very nice. It's a Nuge jersey. It's just a base jersey of the Nuge, but at least we got a hit finally within this stuff. Last pack, guys, last pack. All right. And of course, you see, this is why I think you can pack search it. You can actually feel that it's like indented, that it's just a decoy. All right, so this uh, would be 2010, 2011 SBX. What was the other one? Was it not 2010, 11? Yeah, it was 2010, 11. Uh, oh yeah, right, this is SPX, that was SPA. Uh, yep, so we have, you'd think I'd be able to see who that is. It's Pecorine, Sam Gagne, Filler, just a base pack, guys. Dustin Brown and Nicholas Lidstrom, Nicholas Lidstrom. So that's basically it, guys, a whole lot of nothing. Man, was that disappointing, holy crap. <laughs> at least, well, at least I hit these two. Um, I gotta say, man, I mean, the Michael Bunting's great, but uh, I'm, I'm physically literally scratching my head. That was just, you know, how do we ensure that these people don't pack search is my question. Because the second time I bought about 20 packs and didn't receive anything, essentially. There was, because I bought Elite, I did receive a jersey card because Penny and Elite guarantees, essentially, a jersey card in each pack, something to that effect, or a hit. So, yeah, man. Ugh. I don't know about loose packs, guys. That's that's all I can say. So please be sure to sub like hashtag dry to happy full cards live at a reference place called Montreal, Quebec.